Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just going to be showing you guys my day off with no gym. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just going to be doing the day or Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just going to be showing you my day off of gym. Um, usually I sleep in on Wednesdays, but today I had to wake up early, so I got up at 8. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my day off. This morning I had to get up around 8 o'clock um, just to get ready. I have a bunch going on today. Some days my Wednesdays aren't super busy, but today is one of those days where I have a lot going on. So I got up, made breakfast, and now I'm getting ready to do my first podcast of the day. And then um, we'll be showing you what I'm doing after that. How are you? Good. How are you? Hi. Did you? <laughs> All that matters. Who cares about the dumb score? It's about having fun with your team and just enjoying gymnastics while it lasts. It doesn't last forever. And, you know, once you finally make it to college and collegiate gymnastics, it's, you know, it's just the best thing in the world. So you really just need to enjoy every moment of it. And um, I just, I'll always be super competitive. I can't even play a game with my husband and my family because, I mean, my whole family is super competitive, but we just like, get into big arguments because it just doesn't end well if none of us can win. So um, it's been hard at times, but I think having that competit competitiveness really just helps me compete really well. I think if yeah. younger athletes can just really go out there and be competitive with the game and want it, I think the, the better and more confident you'll be going out there. I love that you remind everybody that it's an ongoing journey. You don't just reach confidence and you're done. My routines aren't always going to stay up to par. Like, I'm not going to be at 100% all the time. And so I feel like for me, it's 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 a battle constantly. I mean, or right before Olympic trials at championships, a couple weeks before Olympic trials, I fell on beam three times. I crotched the beam, I fell off the beam, and I, like, landed on my hands and knees. You know, like, things happen. And you know what? That pushed me. I really took that and I was like, you know what? Like this ain't gonna happen again. I worked hard, got into the gym, rebuilt that confidence on beam, worked so hard to know that when I went to Olympic trials, I wasn't gonna fall again. And I went to Olympic trials and nailed two beam routines. Okay, you guys, so I just got done with the most amazing podcast. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. I'm sure I'll announce it somewhere so you guys can see it and go check it out. But she has reached out to me and she does this podcast and she's coming out with a book and I'm gonna be on the cover of it, which is super cool. Anyway, besides that, I have a call here at 12, which is in like a half hour um, to call about my classes at the University of Utah. I gotta sign up for classes. So that's what I'll be doing next. And then after that, I'm gonna be doing a little photo shoot and some cute bathing suits that I got from Albion. So I gotta get those pictures done so I can post those on Instagram. And then after that, I don't know what I'll be doing, but I do have a podcast later. I'm fine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's a little bit of a whirlwind, huh? It has been, it's been miserable. Miserable and good at some, at some times, but. So are you thinking fall is when you're planning to start? Yeah, that's when, I mean, I obviously just don't know with like how the Olympics and the dates and all that stuff work, but I'm wanting to start because I, I would like to start school in the fall, obviously. Right. So yeah. I just want to make sure that I'd be able to at least do something. Well, I, don't I, know. Think, I think you probably will. Okay. I, you don't have that many classes left. Are you just going to reach out to me then when we need to do yes. this and plan yes, something? I will okay. just reach out to you. Okay, yeah. that makes me feel better. Okay, so I had a good phone call with Kendall, my academic advisor at Utah. I just feel like I'm all over the place, and college is hard to think about right now because of gym, but we are working on my classes and getting all those um, fixed and scheduled and ready to go for when we move back to Utah around August and September so I can start school again and start attending at the University of Utah. Um, still planning on doing gymnastics for right now, so we'll just see how everything goes. Jonas is finishing his homework. He's so smart. It's not even hard for him. Must be nice. Look how fun that looks. Eh. Oh, we got a text. And then I'm going to go put a bathing suit on so you guys can come check out our really cool pool. So anyway, the reason why I'm doing the photo shoot 
I guess it's not really a photo shoot because Jonas was just taking pictures of me. But anyway, I was an Albion Maven for like three months and it just recently ended and then they asked me to be an Albion Maven again. So I get to do that and I get to go to the store in Scottsdale and pick out some fun things. So I'm gonna go take a picture in it so I can post it on Instagram and it'll be fun because I'll get to do another giveaway with them here at the end of the th three months. So we're going into the first month and yeah, I just love their clothes so much. They're so cute. They gave me some really fun pieces. And so we're gonna go model them and take some cute pics. Okay, so we just got some pictures in front of the wall. We'll see if those turn out good. I don't know, we'll see. Well, I just wanted to show our cute pool. Ooh, we should set this up and play our game. Okay, so I just came into the bathroom to try on Outfit number two. What do you guys think of this swimsuit? I think it's so cute. I love the little buttons. We're going to attempt pictures number two. Wish me luck. What is this called? It's not hacky set. Okay, so you guys know that Jonas and I are super competitive, and I don't know how many times we've come to the pool during the summer last year, and I would crush him. It's not Literally. true crush him and I would make it in the hole, make it in the hole, make it in the hole and he'd be so mad because then I would just whip him and like beat the crap out of him. So it was like freaking awesome. So that was a lie. Yours are definitely way worse than mine. At least I'm hitting it and sliding it. <laughs> okay, well you also got to throw a lot more than I did. Tragic. Crush him, and I would make it in the hole, make it in the hole. Ask me if I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, seriously? Yes, that's right, what I'm talking about. Okay, so we just got done going to the pool. Took like a million pictures. <laughs> and we didn't even get to go swimming. Isn't that sad? And it's like so nice here. It's like almost 80. It's like set what, 76 out? So it's so nice and warm. But anyway, now we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A for any of you Chick-fil-A lovers. So now we wait for 45 minutes. Okay, it's not gonna take that long as a drive through at least 30. Like 15. Let's see who's right. Alright, it's been like 15 minutes. Kind of getting there. What are you doing? Looking at pictures and not turning out so good. They did or didn't? Didn't. Why? I don't know. I just don't like taking pictures like by myself. It's hard for like every picture. It's, I don't know what to do. Stop. Let me see them. No, oh, they're ugly. I think they look good. Three. Three o'clock. I don't even know how long it took. I lost track, but we got it. <laughs> Probably like 30 minutes, honestly. I'm so hungry. I'm eating in my swimsuit. Okay, so we just finished eating and now we're watching this documentary. I don't know what it's called. What's it called, Jonas? <laughs> oh no. I'm really, really tired. So I'm gonna take like 
a 30 minute nap before I have to do my next podcast in like what an hour it's at four so oh my gosh Melo hi can you hear me okay I can okay okay perfect look for the good because we're we are wired actually <laughs> to look for those things that are difficult yeah. you know that's just yeah. how we're wired so we have to consciously go okay how are we gonna look for the good in this situation so is there something like how do you do that uh, it's so hard because <laughs> it's funny because my husband's like you're always so down all the time you need to be more positive and so that's do you like my change of outfit today for the 500th time I don't really know if I liked the way that the pictures turned out today. Sorry, babe. He normally does a really good job. I just don't know if it was like the way I was looking or the way the lighting was. So I'm going to try to do a TikTok. I'm not very good at it because my niece normally has to show me, but we're going to try it and see how it goes. I just made my first TikTok all by myself. What do you guys think? Jonas is editing a YouTube video for you guys. We've kind of been a little behind because he was gone for work again for a week. But he's back at it. And now I'm heading to go get the mail because we have a parcel pending. So I'm going to go get the mail and then... So I got some fun packages in the mail. I love to use self-tanner. So I just got some more of the Blue Saint self-tanner. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is great because it doesn't make you look orange, which most tanning lotions make you look really orange, and this one's just nice and gives you a nice, perfect tan. All you guys know how much I love to go shopping. So I bought myself another dress. Yes, I did, what? Jonas. Another one? A cheetah one. <laughs> I have a cheetah obsession. <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah, why do you think we got a cat that's cheetah? Look how freaking cute. Oh my gosh. It looks shut. just like your other cheetah dress. Look how freaking cute these workout shorts are. Shut the front door. IVL. I'm dying over these. Look how freaking cute. Okay, Mello, you can play with it. You can play with the balloon, Mello. We've been going over the last YouTube video for like the last hour. I usually do all the editing, but I'll have Michaela look over it and she'll give suggestions and stuff. Um, depending on the video, it takes between, what would you say, like, two to maybe six hours to edit. Um, we usually get a lot of footage. I usually have to start with like an hour or more and then I trim it down to 10, 20, 25 minutes. So that's what we've been doing, or at least I've been doing for the last hour or so. Michaela's been shopping. <laughs> Not been shopping. I've yeah, been stuff. she's been shopping. Now it's almost eight. We haven't eaten dinner yet because we had a late lunch. So we're probably gonna make some dinner now. And then the jazz game is in five minutes, ten Seriously? minutes. Yeah. You're always watching basketball. I don't watch that much basketball. It kind of seems like oh, I do. Yeah, you do. No, I don't watch it that much. But I watch all the jazz games, and I watch all the Lakers games. And they're playing each other tonight, so that's like, so we have to watch it. Michaela will probably cook dinner while I watch the jazz game, Lakers game. And we'll go from there. All right, doesn't look like I'm getting much help from Michaela or Mello. So I'm cooking up tonight one of the oven-ready meals, the um, sausage and sun-dried tomato baked orzo. So hopefully it's easy. It's 
still no help. Finally got our home chef. Wow, that's what are we making? Uh, some sort of sausage pasta. This is one of those oven ready meals, which is nice when like Michaela doesn't want to help me cook, because then I can just throw it together and throw it in the oven. It doesn't take all day. Mm, that sauce smells really good. Kind of smells like marinara sauce from like Sonic <laughs> I guarantee you this is better than Sonic. I mean, it looks a lot better and healthier, but I'm just saying. Oh, it that tastes smell good. Wow. Smells really good. It tastes really good. Mm, taste. Here, you can lick the lid. Thank you, Mr. Chef, everybody. Alright, Michaela decided to help. Yeah, because you were getting cranky. We literally just threw everything in the pan, topping it with cheese. Mm. I'm going to throw some foil on it. How's the cheese? Delicious. I'm going to throw it in the oven. And the uh, game is underway. Looking good. Still shopping. I'm not shopping. Yeah. Looks pretty good. I <laughs> think we always see that. Looks good. It always does look looks good. Looks good. It looks freaking delicious. Am I right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. Now we just gotta test it out. Everything from Home Chef is usually pretty dang good. Sometimes the picture doesn't always look like it'd be that good, but it tastes a lot better than it looks. And then some pictures look amazing and they taste amazing. So, oh, are you carrying that over for me? Yeah, look at the little mellow. Yeah. Mellow. Are you just curled up in a little ball? Mellow. Mellow. Say hi, baby girls. She's just licking herself. She's just so cute. I could video her all day. Jonas is eating it. Is it really hot? Is it hot or is it fine? It's fine. So basically for the rest of the night, we've just been watching basketball the whole time. And I've been staying on my phone watching Nothing TikToks. Nothing wrong with that. I've been watching TikToks on my phone trying to get inspired to be better at TikTok. But we'll see how that goes. Pretty sure after the basketball game, we're just going to get ready and head to bed. I have to get up early for therapy. I had a good day. Hope you guys had a good day. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment your questions down below.